Is it possible to teach entrepreneurial qualities or is it something you're born with? You know, this is, this is a, a conversation that we've been having for a long time. Is an entrepreneur born or is an entrepreneur made? And I would argue that you need, we need to think about entrepreneurship not as a noun, but as an adjective. Uh, for me, entrepreneurship is, is a continuum. Some people are at one and some people are at 100. Um, obviously, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos are in the one, Mark Zuckerberg are in the 100 category. But there's also people in the five and 10. And the question is, are there people in the 30 or 40? And can they move? to the 50 or 60? The answer is yes. Now, number one probably won't go to a number 100, but it could certainly go to 10. So I think that everybody has a little bit of entrepreneurship in them. The question is, where are they on that continuum and how can we nurture them to move to the right? I think that's a very, very good point. I think I need to find out where I am on that, <laughs> um, on that level. So, how can procurement leaders identify entrepreneurial qualities in their hires? The way that I identify entrepreneurial qualities in my hires is I do it through the interview process, right? Or if they are already in the company, I look at their actions and what they have done. Has someone taken something from the beginning? Are they visionary? Did they take risks? Did they galvanize people around them? Did they execute that I get it done? And more importantly, were there failures along the line? that they learn something from. And so to me, I look for people that have fire in the belly, but more importantly, people that are willing to have some of those traits. I, yeah, I think that's very important that they do. So how do you really nurture and protect these people in your big companies? Uh, we talked about that on the panel today. How do you nurture an entrepreneurial mindset? How do you build an entrepreneurial cult culture? Um, at Pinnacle, we've been on the fastest uh, growing Inc. 500, 5000 list for a decade in a row before 2015 being named the number one fastest growing women owned business in America. So this question comes up a lot. And I do it two ways. Number one, through dialogue. We have, we meet on a quarterly basis, the entire company. We have town halls. And I'm constantly talking and dialoguing of how people should be viewing themselves, right? Um, their perspective of themselves, because I always find how people view themselves is directly related to who they will become. The second way we do it is we actually allow people to fail. If it's, if it's a, a, a goal or mission that we're going after and people fail, you know, they don't get punished for failure. I guess that's the better way. The way that we build an entrepreneurial culture within Pinnacle is we don't punish people for failure and we don't reward you for the status quo. And that's an opportunity that we can take in every corporation, large or small, is don't reward people for status quo, for just doing their job. Reward them for going out and thinking beyond the box, right? And innovating and creating and changing the way they do things. That's what we get rewarded for. And we do it every year at the end of the year.